Stop trying to be happy. That's right. That's what I said. Stop trying to be happy. It's impossible. And please tell your children to stop trying to be happy. That's impossible too. Because you see, in nature, you can't have a one-sided event. It's just like this pendulum here. This pendulum follows the law of balance, the law of symmetry, which says that everything has an up and down, in and out, over and under, black and white, good and bad, pleasure and pain. Well, that applies to us as well. We're part of that same system. So, stop trying to be happy. So what do you do instead? Well, what you do is you aim for appreciation, gratitude, certainty, and love. You see, stress-free is also impossible in nature. No one's stress-free. The challenge of life is to manage our stress. The only people that are really stress-free are either heavily medicated or dead. In fact, that's what street drugs are for, to give the illusion of pleasure without pain for a brief period of time. So, if you want appreciation, gratitude, certainty, love, you must use three fundamental tools that are available to every person. The first one is to uncover your life purpose. You see, everything in nature has a purpose. Every object, every tree, every rock, every person has a very specific purpose. When you uncover that purpose consciously, you can use that to make decisions about your future. Now, everyone is on purpose unconsciously. All of your pets are on purpose unconsciously. But we as a species can think about thinking, and therefore we can put words around our purpose. And we can use that consciously to design our own destiny. Now, we also have to know our value system. Now, your value system comes from all your life experiences. It's like a collection from what you've learned of, from your life experiences of what is good and bad, right and wrong, according to your life experiences. It's very personal, very subjective, and it's your toolbox for you to learn to grow in self-worth, self-appreciation, self-esteem, self-confidence. Now, the third thing is to understand human behavior. Human behavior, every behavior, actually has four parts. There's a doing and a thinking, which create a feeling and a physiology. That's right. Every behavior has four parts, and what we do and think creates and determines how we feel in the physiology of our body. Knowing that, practicing that consciously, gives us control of our self. Self-control is essential to be purposeful. Self-control is essential to use your value system to learn and to grow. So if you're looking for more self-appreciation, more gratitude, certainty, and love in your life, then please check out our website at www.mentalhealthcenter.com or contact me directly. I'd love to hear from you at kenpiercepsychologist.com. Thank you.